Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. We are playing as Italy, and ooh, I didn't realize that this front here could use a bit of a redo. Go to that offensive line and draw a new one. There's not really much in the way of... There's this weird um, UK holdings over here, which is utterly bizarre. And I don't know, like, we might have to clean that up for it to fall in our favor. I guess, actually, I kind of like the idea, then, of pushing over to here. And then using that as maybe another way to push into the British Raj. Where we are pushing in right now. Let's take a look at our Indian troops over here. There's been a push, but we don't have really any forces left here. Everything will change once the Soviet Union falls. It's going to liberate a lot of stuff. Meanwhile, how's this? Okay, no enemy landings. Great. Everything's fine here. Africa. Still looking good. Excellent. China's still growing bigger. Japan's still sucking. I mean, we're not going to make a run at the Philippines or anything like that. That's not where we're at. It's very much not where we're at. Uh, we are researching carrier techs. We are researching carrier airplanes and all that jazz. These guys are going to be a little unsuccessful getting that, but that's okay. Although, shouldn't they be starving out? Oh, they have a port there! That's why they're not being attrition. Okay. And again here, we've overextended ourselves a wee bit. Just try to reconnect. Same thing happened over here. But we're going to reconnect momentarily, so it should be okay. We're not out of supply yet. Some more help down there. A lot of people were doing strategic uh, redeployment, so it's not going to be perfect. But hopefully we're okay. Anyway, the other two are going to be doing other crazy moves over here for that. But that should likewise be mostly fine. I might want to do a little bit less craziness by doing something like that. And then you can go back to doing that. I really should be a little bit more careful with my overextensions, but it's fun! You still have plenty of organization right now. You, actually, do that. Reestablish the supply line. Things looking good and clean over here. I like that. Um, I think what I'm going to do is vastly trim down my front here. Uh, did I not just vastly trim this down? Maybe I have more than one army operating over here. No, it doesn't look like it. It's still a ridiculously large front. Mm, can we, like, be aggro here? There's a river, I realize that. Pretty sure that's going to be okay. Alright, now let's try to do our own encirclements. Well, it's less encirclement, more just cutting off supply, actually. Um, why don't you pop that so that there's no weird borders? For the Germans, the Germans can take Finland for now. Although, because I started by having control over here, it's mostly going to be my borders that expand. But that's just for occupation purposes. So yeah, so I think as long as you're in the same faction, the occupation doesn't really matter that much. But these little holdings by the UK might screw some things up. Advanced landing crafts, wonderful. Now, back to the air here. I need the carrier variant of the fighter and the carrier variant of the naval bomber as well if we're going to start deploying our... Um, our carriers. Oh, they still have supply. Started that a little too soon. Still, I'll, I'll keep that attack. That's fine. All right, that's good. And again here, I think I may want to override this just to scooch. Cut off some people. 
and then continue that way. Just close the loop from time to time as we do our crazy advance and punch throughs. Because then they can't retreat. Because normally the troops, you don't usually lose very much. You know, a handful of people do die in the actual fighting, but mostly the troops just fall back and fall back and fall back. So if you do get a chance to just kill something outright, that's pretty good. Still waiting for these guys to be fully reinforced here. So we can deal. There's not much bombers left, though. I think we've mostly dealt with that. Same thing here. That core is still looking good. Up to 204 civilian factories right now. Uh, Transval is where? What's over here? I wonder if that's getting bombarded or just harassed. I'm just going to bring these down. Actually, let's finish these radars. I mean, that's just in Italy, which currently is not being threatened, but still seems like a good idea. All right, you're fine. National of Spain, you haven't lost your territory again. I don't have to come rescue you anymore. Push, push, push. What's the season? Oh, man. Yeah, it is another winter, too. Moscow fell so long ago. Oh, 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 what's happening? What's happening? Soviet Union has capitulated. Adolf Hitler has announced... Oh, right, okay, capitulated, but their side hasn't lost yet. We're still going to have to divide it up afterwards. But right now... Right. Does the Soviet Union count as a puppet? I... Germany has just puppeted the rest of the Soviet Union. Still, that's not the stuff that's worth very much. And we still occupy this here. So I think once the peace deal comes up, that's when we, de we determine the rest of it. So, I think the thing to do now is to grab the rest of my troops... And just right-click on Mongolia. Actually, that's so far away. I guess I want to do a strategic redeployment. Oh, okay. That's the Soviet garrison. Which is confusing as hell. Right, and then the Italian theater is my actual Soviet front. All right, we're going to cancel all your orders. We're going to halt everything. Tell you to go here. And your offensive line... Is there just one victory point in here? As far as I can tell, yes. Offensive line is something like this. And execute when you get there. And my tanks, I'll tell you to halt. Go into strategic redeployment mode. And just rush to here. So there's still some remaining... We don't know what they are. What is this? China! China still had some forces sitting in the Soviet territory. So there's still going to be a little confusion. And a little bit more... Oh, oh may, this might be the actual peace conference. There we go. Just to wait a little bit. At least turn to make the man. So turn one... Wait, I can't actually right-click. Turn 1. I think Germany took all of Iran. And Iraq and stuff. I can't, again, I can't right-click. Or get information here, but I think that's what happened. You bastard. I took that territory! Alright. Um... Oh. Okay, looks like it only puppet this area, though. Which is interesting. I think what we have to do... Come on. There we go. Is... We want to do something... What else? I mean, there's industrial bases here, but this gets us control of a lot of oil. Which is really, really, really helpful. And then do we just expand from there? All around the Black Sea? I can't believe I lost the Middle East. Where's Moscow? Right over here.
I don't know how much this is important. I mean, I want to kind of minimize some of the overt border gore. And we'll have another whack at this in a moment. But I want Moscow. God damn it, I deserve it. And then I'm just going to fill in a little bit of stuff over here. This might make it easier for, I don't know, something. Just make my name bigger. I'm going to do that. And I could puppet the Soviet Union, but it would be a state over here. I would get a lot cheaper, but I wouldn't actually get direct control of the factories. Oh, and then we run out. There we go. So this is going to be our turn. And grind, 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 grind. I think Germany just took all this territory over here. Where is this? Right click. Oh, up here! Oh! Okay, this... Maybe I was just on a weird zoom level? Okay, so there's still stuff over here, which is interesting. Germany's still not going to be bordering it in any way. Polish People's Republic. I could satellite some stuff. Effect turning into a puppet state. What's the difference? Oh, this would be puppeting... Oh, the Soviet Union specifically. Okay, well that actually might be worthwhile for this. Oh, then I run out. Because it's a little bit cheaper, right? Now, it'd be nice to be able to get up there and connect to things. I can just end turn and leave some points left over for next time. And I think I'm going to have to. Alright, I think this is fine, rather than grabbing the territory myself. It's a little cheaper. Oh. One state at a time. Ah, I don't want to leave a hole. I'll take it a more sensible way. Oh, and then I can't do that. I'm going to have to pass. And get a bunch of points. But I think the last of it will have gone at that point. Hmm. Actually, I think this is worth taking. The port plus a little bit of territory around here. can't take Kiev, so I gotta pass, and then everything's done. That's that. So, in the end... Oh, these are all the different turn breakdowns. In the end, it looks like a little messy up here. Done. We're gonna generate 327% world tension. Oh, pause, 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 pause. Japan took 18 states, German Reich took 72... Legionary Romania took 6, National Spain took 1, Italy took 46, Iron Wolf Lithonia was puppeted, Terra Mariana was puppeted, the Empire of the Thunder Cross was puppeted, Greater Finland was puppeted, Russian Empire was puppeted. Alright, so the, the little Italian exclave over here definitely looks a little funny. It also might be a little tricky to defend. Uh, just in case there's a weird crash, let me get a quick save. Although, it does save after the peace conference, so I guess maybe we're okay. But I feel better having done that. And then what we gotta do is, like, figure out everything about where our units are. We don't have to worry about... Uh, no, we still have to worry about partisans over here. But, the Soviet police doesn't need to exist anymore. There was still some partisan activity going here, so I'm actually gonna join these guys to the French garrison. Now, there's a little bit of unrest going on down here, too. So, I'm going to go and expand the French garrison area a wee bit. So, we'll get a little bit more policing over here. That'll be good. Um, 
I'm not sure about these border guards. You know what? I'm going to have them get added to the French thing as well, and then we can always split things off later on if there starts to be an invasion, like the Bay of Biscay over here. Uh, oh, that's naval combat, not a naval invasion. Never mind. So, we lost some of the factories we were holding, but now they're properly like owned and controlled by us, which is really nice. Whew. All right, some support strikes. We don't care about that, so I just dismiss that for now. So there's still some battling going on here. Um, Mongolia is what? You just have a truce and nothing happened, and that's fine. Let's take a look at our diplomacy screen. So there's little pockets of stuff over here. I don't know if I'll worry about that. I think I'll let just Germany deal with that crap. While I think I push against the British Raj a little bit more aggressively. Middle East attack. Yeah, hey, you guys have lost your stuff. Let me can't make sure you got no orders. Your front line is now here? No. Interesting. I guess because China, but that's a different war. Okay, could we win the Chinese war and deal with that? That might be a good thing. Okay, tell you what. This um, Middle East attack, I'm going to have you join this here. This is really going to be called China. We're going to try to take them out of the picture. That's what we're trying to do. Same thing with you there. Giant thing led by a good peace, a uh, good uh, <laughs> peace. I was just thinking peace conference again. Um, a good field marshal. You've got no orders. Cancel all your movements. So your order is now um, this. Frontline versus China. All along here. Very good. And the imp most important thing to do to start off with is going to be for us to grab territory right here. Because then it'll be adjacent to us. Well, again, actually, it doesn't matter who occupies it. Never mind. It doesn't matter who occupies it. And, like, you're just going to be looking to push to the other side of China. That's, that's our very sophisticated plan here. Something like that. I know I missed a little bit of the coast, but that's okay. So get yourself in position. Uh, my tank squad, I think a good idea for you will be to go and pick up Archangel over here. Deny a British port. We'll have to deal with the north soon as well, but let's clean this up. Deny this port, then everything else should get cleaned up here really, really quickly. Ah, uh, planes. So, not navy. Airplanes. Central Russia. You don't need to exist anymore. Ukraine. Central Russia. Alpine, Southern France, Western Mediterranean. Yes, that's... Well... Hmm. I think it's been a while since we bombed anything. Well, you know what? We'll leave you for now. What the heck? Wait, oh, 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 Western Mediterranean over here. And Black Sea. Okay, the Black Sea one. You definitely don't need to exist anymore. Great stuff. How are we doing in northern France over here? It's a lot of fighters. Not that many bombers. We're going to want... Again, hit that... Try to hit 2,000. Because you can support that. No, Ile de France can only support a thousand. Hang on. So, Normandy. And split. And split. And split. Split. 
just waiting for the deployment here. Well, we'll come back to you. Because I'm still going to want like 2,000 planes before I go in the air again. All right, tanks are still going to run up there, just kill their supply, and that's going to be good. And then, yeah, we may have to open up something over here. I might uh, take some of these guys. Take some of this infantry out. Make a new group. Gonna be called, I guess, Finland. It's not entirely accurate, but it's not the most inaccurate thing ever. Halt all your current stuff. Set up a front line up over here. And technically you'll have an offensive line, which is going to involve capturing those ports. You can start moving when you get there. Alright, equipment-wise, what are we looking at? We've got a good amount of mechanized stored up, good amount of tanks... So, I think we can actually just train them now. Something like that. One time. And you can still only deploy in the core places. So I'll get you to deploy there. And then we'll figure something out. Now, I want to start editing these guys. Do we want to add some motorized? No, I mean, I think it's still fine. Combat with... I mean, we're still okay with slow people with good digging. Can't complain about that. Alpine divisions, like, what else do we do with you? What we don't have are just mechanized divisions. And we could look into doing something like that. I could also flip all the medium tanks to these. Like, just a pure mechanized division? I don't know if we need that. We're short on support equipment and losing some. Uh, oh, over here. I'm just getting confused because I don't have the right tab open. I don't want to cut back on this anymore. Okay, we won't need another mechanized line, I don't think. I mean, at some point we could go full mechanized, but I don't think there's much point to that. We're going to get another support equipment line. I'm not convinced that we need the full trio, but let's do that for now. I mean, it's mostly going to be broken factories anyway. Got resistance to occupation over here. Well, we don't have enough police forces. I mean, they don't have that much suppression. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, that's right. I actually am just here. I want to split you and split you. I don't want to give you any missions yet. But at some point I can just say assign all once these numbers get better and then try to counter things and hopefully keep that. Who's justifying war goal? The Russian Empire is justifying against us. Russian Empire, which is a puppet of nationalist Spain. Uh, what? I don't know what that means. It doesn't sound good. Let's see. Naval invasion, Normandy, and Brittany. see here. Get a general. So I don't know exactly where. Which is a bit scary. So like, obviously I need just massively more numbers. Because, oh, normally it goes on like that. Okay, well, I don't need not, but... I do need all the way to here. Hmm. Well, as long as they're close, then I should be able to respond to wherever the actual landing takes place. And again, the actual ports are pretty well defended. This this got derped up a little. Oh, there we go. 
you. Just do a normal move to here. Same thing. And same thing over here. Looks like it's only two divisions, though. So if it weren't for the fact that I was going to say this has no freaking organization because it was in the middle of a strategic move, um, although that was a pretty intentional strategic move, it would have been fine. So that was a much faster invasion. Or maybe that one was already going on, I'm not sure. But that was that was the Brittany one. So presumably there's still one going on in Normandy. Oh, that's my... It's going to be an ocean liner. Bavario class. Carrier. Excellent. Okay. And yeah, we'll want the level 4. That, and... We are going to want... The carriers to get built. Actually, you know what? Cancel this battleship. It's fine. Carrier, and what kind of experience we have? More deck space. A little bit more armor. More deck space. Oops, then we run out. Huh? Oh, we have 13... Uh, misread the thing. Okay, so we have no experience. That's okay. Um, let's get you going. One in Veneto. That's going to be okay. And I'm going to bring you up to the top here. So that you get all the naval stuff. And I'm going to bring the submarines to the bottom. Okay. So, uh, I think we punched them back. Yeah, they had nothing left. So, what does it say here? Still says Normandy and Brittany. So we'll keep up with what we've got. Um, I should probably make a proper police force. Which is to say, horse units. Um... Huh? Oh, mobile battalions. There we go. One, two cavalry. With MP. This is proper, just like, very cheap suppression. We could throw in some more horses, but I don't think we're going to need that. So we're going to do that. And we're going to train a bunch of these. I don't think we really had them in before. And you'll deploy over there. And we're going to add you to the French issue. Once they get a little bit of training here. Because their skill really doesn't matter. How are we doing air wing wise? Nearly, but not quite. Production's okay. Justification of war goals. Yeah, see that, that has me very concerned. Okay, China. And you have... Oh, no, let's hit play. And my tanks here, you've gone and cleaned that up. Very nice. Um, I'm going to get you to make a run over here, too. I might want to do it in strategic redeployment here. But like, I want to strategically deploy some of the way and then stop after that. But that's not really something that exists. Finland, I'm going to tell them to halt so that they can... Oh, uh, no, hold on. You got confused because the front is pretty busted up now. Get in there. I could also just add the tanks to the fin. That might be a good idea, actually. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to add you here so you'll strategically redeploy up to the front and then help push. And if need be, I can just manually get some pushes going since you guys are so abysmally slow and actually making offensive moves. All right, so that's our naval version there, and that is being researched. Excellent. I don't know if I need the next level of close air support. I don't think I still need any of these, although it is funny to still have some pre-war bombers somewhere in the list. Um, why don't we start going on our jet engines? If we need to do some crazy late game air war stuff, we'll do it with jets. Because that sounds cool. All right, we're going to put a cut in here. Cleaning up a few things over there. The Chinese front 
We do have some units we could probably get pushing a little faster here. And just encourage the mobile groups to go and do something like that. Alright, thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.